Peace of Christ to all. Um, as you see in the screen, as usual, we have something new to teach you about Quran. The verse in chapter 4, verse 82, it's saying it clearly and telling us that in the time of Muhammad, people, they have a lot of trouble understanding the Quran because it's very clear they are finding a contradiction. And the verse in here is saying, do they not consider the Quran with care had it been from other than Allah they would surely have found therein much contradiction whatever they translate the word as <clears throat> so people we are complaining about like what kind of Quran this Quran like you know is, uh, because uh, uh, one verse saying something the other verse saying the opposite it's it's really you know very confusing book so this case was even from the time of Muhammad it's not like today we are the one who discover how 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 stupid the Quran is no you know the Arab people in the time of Muhammad they were not really fooled you know they knew it's uh, you know Muhammad the only way for him to make them believe in it it was his sword when he got enough men from the outlaw he forced everybody to convert to his religion and all of us we knew you can go and uh, uh, search for something it's called the war of apostasy we call it, we say in Arabic Harubu Ridda. Harubu Ridda simply or the war of apostasy. Right away in the same day Muhammad died, tens of thousands of Arab they left Islam. In the same day. This is this is telling you how much they were forced to do so. Because if they believe really, why they want to believe in the same day of Muhammad's death? Then Abu Bakr he have to launch a huge war to force those people and torture the one who don't want to come back to Islam. <clears throat> so the men of Muhammad who continues his message after him, they launch a war to make Islam stabilize and stay. This is how Islam stay until now, actually, by war, by sword. Anyone will say something different, this is a lie. And the proof, in the year 2008, finally one Islamic country approved someone to change his religion without being killed. So the rule of being killed for leaving Islam, it is from the beginning and it is always the way to keep Islam staying and alive. Otherwise, Islam is bleeding and there is no way to stop that bleeding except, you know, what scare those who want to leave Islam. But these days, things is changing and people, they cannot take it no more. This is why Islam is dying very fast. Now, we show the verse from the Quran <coughs> saying that, you know what, if this is not from God, we will consider the word Allah in here as if it's saying it's from God, no problem. If it is not from God, you will find a lot of contradiction. And I have more than 300 videos, each one of them showing you at least one contradiction, at least. Now let us show one more contradiction for today. Surah 6 verse 50, <coughs> Muhammad saying to people, I tell you not that with me is the treasure of Allah, nor do I know what is hiding, nor I tell you I am an angel, but follow that what is revealed to me. Say, can the blind behold equal to the seeing? Will you consider not? Okay, so Muhammad saying to us, listen to this. People asking him, okay, you know, tell us the future. What about you tell us something we don't know? You are claiming to be a prophet, right? what kind of a prophet you are the one who cannot tell us anything like prophet it's mean you give a prophecy you prophesy right okay this is a prophet who don't prophesy is it weird <laughs> so he answered them saying you know what yeah you know yeah I don't know I have no idea I, I do not have the treasure of Allah now if you go to the explanation and look at the treasure of Allah you will see something funny I will post all those links next to my video so you guys you can read them. It says, Say, O Muhammad, the people of Mecca, I say not unto you, I possess the keys of the treasure of Allah, vegetation, vegetations, fruit, rain, or punishment. This is the, this is the, the, the treasure of Allah, vegetation, fruits. The, the treasure of Allah is some zucchini and some coca cumber and some tomato. So Muhammad, he have no idea what those are, the treasure of Allah, what it is, what is hiding. So he's saying to them, and you know what, I'm not an angel. So to know the treasure of Allah, you have to be either God, 
or the angel now to know the treasure of Allah it doesn't mean the angel himself he knew really what God knows the angel still he is the one who do the delivery remember like you know Jibreel he was delivering the Quran to Muhammad but he is not the one who knew the Quran he was like uh, the postman in the same time if we go and see different verse we will see the following chapter 3 verse 49 you will see this is the, talking about supposedly the Messiah it's saying that the Messiah he is the one who can make from a clay a bird and he breathed onto that clay and will became a bird <coughs> and uh, uh, he make the blind see and he do a lot of recovery for everyone in the top of that there is something important here and I declare to you what you eat and what you store in your houses as a miracle now Muhammad said he cannot tell you what you eat and what you store in your houses the Messiah he can tell you what you eat and what you store in your houses did you find something wrong in there the Muslim says that Muhammad is the best prophet of God and he is the seals of the prophet and he is the most honorable prophet of Allah himself he chose him as the best he is the best of the best in the same time Muhammad he have no prophecy he never prophesy he do not know what is hiding he cannot tell you what is your in your in your house he cannot tell you anything about the future but the Messiah he can create bird from mud the same as God do he can make the blind see he can give recovery for all kind of diseases in the top of that he can tell you what is hiding in your house what do you eat and what you are planning to do all of this did not make the Messiah equal to Muhammad this is number one which is a stupid thing to say because simply in Islam Muhammad all what he did he just delivered the Quran he did not do any miracle he did not do nothing he just delivered the Quran according to Islam but in here we see that the Messiah was given the, the, the authority according to the Quran by the way I'm not saying according to me according to the Quran he was given the authority of a creation he can do exactly what the God of Islam he can do he can create from the clay something alive and he do create the same way as God create according to Islam this is the way uh, the God of Islam created Adam he made him first from mud and he breathed unto him and then he created him and look at, the, at this the Messiah he do exactly the same now we will go to the real contradiction as long the Messiah he knew the future and he can tell you what is your hiding and Muhammad said clearly no one know that except Allah and to just to show you one more evident we will go there chapter 6 verse number 59 with him are the keys of unseen with him who Allah he is the one he knew what is hiding and no one know it except him so only the God of Islam he knew the unseen so if only Allah knew the unseen okay how how the Messiah he knew the seen the unseen too you see it what do you eat is not what he see what do you hide in your house is it's not what he see this is unseen now someone will tell me uh, you know what but Allah he told him don't tell me that Allah is telling, telling him everyone what is he hiding in his house this will be funny there's thousands and thousands of people that's you know what he Allah he sent him a file saying you know what this is a file for every citizen in your in, in this town anyone come to you open the file and look you will see what kind of clothes he's wearing, what he did yesterday, what he did eat, and what he is what he's hiding. Knowing it's mean he knew right away, 
regardless of the person who will come to him. Like as a surprise, if somebody stands in front of him and say to him, what I have in my house, he will tell him. Muhammad, he do not know that, and the Quran say clearly that the only one he knew that, it is Allah. Time is up, follow with me. The Messiah is God, and he can tell you the unseen when your Quran say no one can tell except God. Christ is God, Islam is false, I mean.